G'day team, Punt Road here. Apologise it's been a minute, been flat chat here, moving into the new house. Uh, been on a couple of vacations as well, just some small ones. But I'm back, I'm firing, I wanna bring some videos to you guys. And just one more about a topic uh, that came up on X or Twitter, if you're uh, on that platform. And it, who is a singer with the most unique, or recognizable voice? And uh, there was a few different nominations in there that were fairly interesting. Uh, Axel Rose, I put him forward. I think Axel Rose has got that amazing raspy voice and he's got some fantastic uh, ability to hit super high notes as well. Uh, he also has a lot of little idiosyncrasies, some he stole from people like uh, Steve Tyler, although we will say not stolen, but it's an homage. Uh, and then we went into a whole bunch of people commented on the platform of who they thought uh, Rob Halford, I thought, was an excellent nomination. Uh, Rob is a very unique singer. Uh, his ability to hit the high notes as well is amazing. Uh, plus, he has such an operatic tendency and style to his voice. Uh, I'm a massive fan of his. Ozzy comes up. Uh, now, maybe Ozzy isn't the best classically trained singer, but he certainly is, no doubt, when you hear those Black Sabbath songs, you know exactly who it is. Uh, and I think that's a big part of this. It doesn't have to be the best. It has to be the most recognisable on that note, King Diamond has to be one of the most recognisable with his massive high pitch falsetto um, and his ability to go into that sort of much more lower range and also the devil and the character type voices that he puts on is amazing. On that note, for someone who's probably not considered a great singer, but is certainly recognisable to a lot of character voices, it's this guy down here, not Vic Rattlehead, but the man who created him, Dave Mustaine. He's another one that certainly when you hear a Megadeth song, you definitely know it's him. And you either love him or you hate him. There's no doubt about that. He definitely divides the uh, metal community. Bon Scott came up as one that was definitely recognisable. And I would say that uh, Brian Johnson after him is also extremely recognisable, but totally different both in their styles. And look, there's probably a million more people that we could go through here. And there's a lot outside of metal as well. But they're just a little bit of a uh, subsection of the ones that came up on that feed on Twitter. So... I really appreciate all your support here, guys. It's been fantastic. Love the comments, love the likes and the shares. Uh, want to know what you guys want to hear and what you want to hear about. So comment on here, comment on YouTube, subscribe obviously to YouTube, get over to, to Twitter or X, comment on there and tell us what you want. Uh, and I'll do my best to give you guys exactly what you actually desire. On that note, as I always say, have a ripper and catch you soon, guys. Bye.